Hello, my name is Simeon Neil Asher, and the trigger point of the week this week is the sternocleidomastoid muscle. So let's uh, search for the muscle using our 3D search. And we know that sometimes the radiations are around the head and neck. So let's click on the sternocleidomastoid. Um, fascinating muscle, I know I say that all the time, but some of the really interesting features of the sternocleidomastoid are associated symptoms such as dizziness, nausea, vertigo, uh, um, and other sort of sympathetic um, things like epiphoria, which is sort of tearing, uh, and, um, and also conjunctivitis, reddening of the eye. Um, in terms of anatomy, uh, as the name would suggest, there are two, uh, the origins has two heads, the sternal head and the clavicular head. Um, and the, the insertion is into the, into the mastoid process. Uh, functionally, uh, unilaterally, the, the, the sternocleidomastoid tends to uh, rotate side bend, uh, ipsilaterally, and also rotate to the contralateral side. So when you're checking a sternocleidomastoid on the left, you'll want patients to turn a little to the right. Uh, in terms of bilateral action, uh, bringing the head forward, flexing, lifting up the head also, uh, and also elevation of the thorax. Um, we also see it associated with uh, mandibular function, like chewing and swallowing, where it's a kind of counterbalance for that action of the mandible. Uh, vulnerable to injury, uh, especially with whiplash injury or whiplash associated disorder. So WAD uh, can lead to real frank trigger points in the sternocleidomastoid and one of the, the presenting symptoms is, is stiffness of the neck, especially loss of rotation as well as headache. Specifically, if we look at these maps, um, the sternal head tends to represent uh, pain uh, a lot above the eyebrow. Uh, sometimes people feel it a little in the chin and under the chin, but also headache, specifically sort of vert vertex headache and headache in the ear. The clavicular fibers have a slightly different but very specific sort of uh, radiation pattern. They tend to cause pain just above the eyes and also into the auricle, into the ear itself, into the lobe. Um, as we said before, uh, vulnerable to, to injury like uh, um, acceleration, deceleration injuries. Um, and one of the presenting factors is restricted range of motion in rotation. So uh, I've seen a couple of really interesting cases lately. I had a, a patient who was in his 70s, was unable to drive because he wasn't able to turn his neck fully. He'd had a whiplash about 20, 30 years before. We found very uh, sort of frank trigger points in the sternocleidomastoid, did some IMS, some needling on it. And actually in one single session, we were able to return almost all the function of rotation back. And he was able to drive and look over his shoulder again, which, uh, which was amazing really. It's a wonderful, uh, wonderful thing to remember. So that's the sternocleidomastoid muscle trigger point of the week. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed that and we really look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks very much. Thank you.